It's easy and convenient to use Skype for Business to connect with people. You can have a quick IM chat or set up a quick check-in Skype meeting. You can connect both internal and external customers and it all starts by building a good group. To build that group, we're going to start over here with the little person with the plus sign and we're going to create a new group. I'm going to create the group Transportation. So it's all the way down here. So there's my group, my transportation group. And I want to put people in my group. I'm going to start with people I know who know a lot about transportation. Victoria Tobin. I go to her name, right click, add to contacts, transportation. She just popped into my transportation group. I'm going to find someone else. Mike Berman. He knows a lot about transportation. I'm going to put him also in my transportation group. And finally, hmm, I need someone else who is outside King County that knows a lot about transportation and traffic. How about an old communications friend? I'm going to go back over to my man with the plus. I'm going to add a contact not in my organization. Hit other. And we'll add Travis Phelps at wsdot.wa.gov. Set my privacy relationship. He's an external contact. And I'm going to put him in my transportation group. And hit OK. So now Travis Phelps, Victoria Tobin, and Mike Berman are all in my transportation group. I need a little bit more information about Travis, so I'm going to right click, see contact card, and then hit edit. All right, now I have my transportation group, and I have a feeling I'm going to be talking to them a lot, so I want to put them at the top of my groups. I go to transportation, again right click, and I'm going to move this group up. Keep moving them up until they're at the top of my group. There they are. So here's my transportation group. If I want to send them an IM or make a Skype phone call, I right click. I can send an IM. Here we are, four participants. Or I can right click, uh, start a video call. I don't want to do that. I don't want to interrupt them. I can send them an email message, schedule a meeting, start a conference call. It's really convenient now that this is at the top of my Skype for Business list. So that's it. We learned how to create a group how to put both internal and external members into that group. And then from there, you can IM them, Skype call them, conference call, or send an email.